Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're gonna play one more campaign, one more episode today. Just made our air into a guy. That's good. Uh, let's get him drilling too. And we actually have plenty of manpower at the moment. Gain 715 a month. I'm still tempted to just kind of keep the the army cheap, but I think I do want to get at least a few more cannons. Right now we have four cannons here. Let's get at least six more in this general area. And then, let's also train up another 10 infantry. Minus one. We go up to our land force limit, then let's try, in theory, to build up to our naval force limit. We're on track to be over our naval force limit. So it's it's theoretically possible that some someday we might be prepared for the Reconquista. <laughs> Which still just cracks me up to even think about, but... There's a level one natural harbor here. I can fabricate on anything in this area because it's part of a trade company. So let's do that. Let's come back. And it's time to war the uh, the natives, for sure. Um, like, that needs to happen. Let's just auto-transport these guys to there. And let's try to find a way to pick apart these alliance chains. So we've got Itza is only allied to Tlaxcala. Wait. Allied with Itza, royal marriage with Itza. How can you be allied to Itza? How can you be allies if he's your overlord? That's weird. <laughs> right? Like, I'm not going crazy, am I? I might be, but it seems weird. Luxcala is a subject. How can the... He's a vassal of both people. What? <laughs> Wait, am I reading this wrong? Okay, has the following vassals, Mixtec, Mixtec, and Totonic. Oh, this is the Overlord. Got it. Okay, okay, I just had it backwards. I mean, why would the tiny guy be the Overlord? Lose loyalty of the burgers in favor of getting 850 gold? Well, I kind of want the Diplo points too. Sure. Well, if they're gonna be mad, they might as well be mad mad. Like, really mad. This province is going to be a powerhouse. What happened to the nobles? Well, we embraced the uh, parliament. Parliament means no nobles. They are not a thing we can have. Okay, we still have a, a slot for a leader. Let's go ahead and hire a regular guy. We have General Crystal Ball Porto Carrero, and he is a decent dude. 244. 24442. 2442. So you're allied to that guy. Clearly, we want, we want to get in here and get into the gold mines. So maybe we just attack Mexico because he's got control of like all of the gold mines, except for this one. Except I don't have a claim on Mexico. Out of all people, I somehow don't have a claim on Mexico. I'm just gonna attack this this chain. We're just gonna take like all of it, like everything we can. Hello. We're the Europeans. It's a won't even defend him. Awesome. Hi. Hi. Uh, we're the Europeans, and uh, you may have heard of us. We've been, you know, been out here for a while. 
England's about to attack somebody. Were, were they going to attack me? Is that what they're going to do? There's a level 3 fort we got a siege. <laughs> I mean, they're on tech 5 to our tech 12, so, I mean, it's it's... It's gonna go about as you would expect, I think. New colony. Let's start on the siege attack Scala. New settlements. Gain prestige, gain base tax. We have plenty of prestige right now, so we'll take the base tax. Okay, uh, bring more gunpowder and cannons. I think you have new... Yeah, this is the, the trade company investments button. It pops up all the time because we, we just make so much money, like, every single month. Even if I spend every dollar I have, the next month, it pops back up again. Right? Like, next month we'll make 176 ducats. I want to prepare for the Reconquista. Someone else has joined the coalition. Hmm. Might have something to do with the fact that I'm, you know, murdering natives again. Trading in Chinaware has happened. Bonus to yearly legitimacy. This will count as overextension when I take the land, but we have cored everything, so for the moment, like, I can probably afford to just go crazy here. But if I don't want to spend any admin points at all, I should try to create Colonial Mexico via colonies and just let them pay the coring cost. But this development's really, really low, so I think that paying for five five territorial cores to just get a colonial nation up and running pretty quickly we will, will be a, an easier way to go. And Itza doesn't have any allies now either, so we can just attack him and like just core the, the five cheapest provinces we find. Oh, there's gonna be some good native murdering happening. Let's transport, teleport that to uh, our subject right now. We don't have a claim on that land, and I don't actually want it right now anyway. Saved by Princess. For 400 ducats, we can gain dip. Sure. Thank you for saving me, Princess. A deserter resurfaces. Spain gets spy network construction, or chart peddler stopped. Sure, spy network speed, please. Oops, broke that siege just a little bit too early. Let's get this war deck declared now too. We'll make the war goal just something, I don't know. Uh, z, z, that one. The one that I can't pronounce. <laughs> what do you mean? Which one's that? <laughs> well, all of them. I can't pronounce any of them. Here comes Cuba. It's actually going to help out a little bit. It's nice of him. Now he must have an army. He can't just not have one, so... Don't get yourself killed, buddy. You're just supposed to keep on, like, finding the seven cities or something. I feel like the colonies probably need to be rescinded. The colonists, that is. Uh, you're at eight... Yeah, 831 is big enough, I think. 831 here. Well, I want this one to finish because I need that. So I can get this other spot. That guy can stay, but, um...
Some of these guys are gonna get tech. They're gonna steal tech from me because the colonies will complete, but they won't be able to make good on it, right? Like they'll they'll jump up to 80% of my current tech level, and we'll just still kill them. Mutiny. Inez de Suarez, Castilian Catholic Colonial Governor, Global Terrace was 10%, half price Diplo guy, or we could get a 2332 Conquistador, or we could hit a regular general 4342. We already have leaders met. Um, I think I do want a half price guy. Now that I know that we can't really do much more of that other stuff, I'm just gonna hire her and then promote her to three. And maybe even go to four. Yeah, she's young. Yeah, let's go to five. 17 ducats a month for five Diplo. It's pretty good. Are states better or worse in this patch? Does this guy even have an army? He says he does. I guess he managed to, like, hide it from me or something? Okay, well, that's 95 war score. Um, I want... your land. <laughs> I want your land. All of it. If it's coastal, I want it. And we'll leave this little chunk in the center for our, our future colonial nation to eat. Can you do concede colonial region? No, because they're they're not a they're not a European colonizer. Need another diplomat. So we have a little bit of aggressive expansion with the natives now. Like they they suddenly realize, holy crap, they're not very nice. It also does put me at ninety percent overextension. So we want to find the ones that have the least cost, and core five of them, and then just sit for a while. In 32 months, we'll have five cores done, and then this will become a colonial nation. Then they'll sit on the overextension instead of me. I'm not going to stop, though. Like, we're going we're gonna to go crazy here. The Amazons gain admin points or diplo points? Admin points. Look at all this beautiful co cocoa. So I've lost a conquistador now. Why is income not 200 ducats? We're not paying for reinforcements. We are rooting... Ah, we're rooting out corruption and we lost trade income because we're overextended. That's what just happened. Okay, um... I'm still shy on force limit. I do have plenty of manpower. Let's train... Let's train four more infantry. Try to get to the force limit here and let's find the navy. And continue to queue up more ships. Eventually, <laughs> eventually, we will be, be ready for the Reconquista. I, I, I have faith. It will happen. You cannot peace out. I'm sorry.
I'm also considering not subsidizing Castile now that I've decided him migrating is not ideal. He is he is colonizing a fair bit, but now I'm basically stuck in a position where I have to integrate this guy, pay Diplo points, and then the land just becomes part of his colonial nation anyway. So yeah, I th think we stop subsidizing him. And instead we want to probably start improving relations with him. <laughs> Castile's mad now. Because I stopped subsidizing him. Funny. <laughs> I could seize land. If I seize territory from him, then he, uh... It just immediately gets transferred to my subject. That's funny. Seize land. Borkin. This will raise their liberty desire by 50%. That's bad. I don't want to do that. But, it saves me if I have to core it. Or pay to integrate it. And <laughs> just transfers it to Cuba right away. That's funny. <laughs> might, Castile might call in coalition for independence. Uh, only if they're disloyal. I'm not going to let them be disloyal, though. I need to start improving relations with them to get his opinion back up. Espanolia awaits. Unknown frontier has expired, too. Damn. Losing some of our modifiers to colonial uh, growth. can't afford to piece this guy out just yet. Okay, that colony being done allows us to colonize in a little bit further, and that gets a new colonial nation to spawn. As soon as I have a colonist available. Three years ahead of time on admin. We have a lot of admin points, but I don't need to core this land. Um, I can't afford to do this until these cores are done, so that we can actually transfer the overextension. So basically, until February of 56, I'm just sitting around for two years in this current war. I could declare more wars, right? I could, I could go after this guy, I could go after really, you know, all of them. Anyone that we have claims on. I don't care how overextended this guy gets. I'm probably going to just feed all of it to him. He could be at like 300% overextension. I don't, I don't care. Well, he doesn't even exist yet. But he will someday. <laughs> you know what I mean? New colony. Clemson's joined the coalition. I mean, they're just being downright rude with all these coalitions. England's going to attack Scotland. So we're at... Um, <laughs> prepare for the Reconquista. I am I'm still unable to get to my force limit. My naval force limit's three away. Alright, can we just build like one? Let's build, let's build two. I'm going to go over the force limit. And then maybe by being over the force limit, I'll actually be able to do this. Uh, okay. We cannot have an adulteress as a queen. Sophia must go. I do like her, though. 
That's fine. Just take a prestige hit. And let's placate Castile again. If I can just keep on placating him, uh, I'm going to demand all of his land as he continues to core it. And I'm going to get rid of him. Or we could just continuously placate and use use prestige like it's a money sink, you know? Just placate him and seize the provinces that he creates. That way he is still colonizing for us. Oh my god! We're ready! We've prepared for the Reconquista, and now it's done! We've reconquisted! <laughs> and now we've recovered Portugal! Yay! We've recovered Portugal. This will put me out exactly 999 admin points, though. We've also converted Iberia. We need to conquer more land now. So what are we going to do with all this admin? The burgers are really pissed, so administrative development's probably not the best. Yeah, I would like to do more coastal development right now, but... Even though this click gives you the one that gives you, like, the most... The most effective click right now, I like sometimes just doing it based on the cheapest, so that you can get the most, like, land force limit and development stuff out of it. That might actually have helped out, too, with getting the printing press here a little bit sooner. War exhaustion? War exhaustion is diplo points. What are we talk about? Inflation? We only have 1.36. So... Somehow I've gained conquest against the knights. They even click on their province. They're allied with Venice. But Venice won't defend them. <laughs> I mean, sure, we could take Malta. Why not, right? Whoa, what are they building? He's actually building a naval manufactory. Naval equipment. How did you afford that? Crazy knights. I'm gonna just start building, like, manufactories everywhere, so we can keep our trade income from slipping. I also feel like trade income is kind of bad right now, relative to what it should be. We've got a little bit of money coming from this way. I might even just be better off bypassing this one, not even worrying about steering here. It's only 2.8 ducats. Of course, that's partially because I, I didn't have any ships there. Because... It was out of range. Now it shouldn't be because we seized more land or something, I thought. Maybe not. I'll at least put a couple ships over there. No, 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 that's right, that's right. The only reason income's bad right now is because I have 90% overextension affecting global trade power somewhere. Trade power broad minus 90%. That's that's the penalty. So like these nodes, I have negative 18% effectiveness here. I can't believe we actually like prepared for the Reconquista. Now I don't even know what to do with myself. I still need to build many factories. I still need to unite the home region. Establish Colonial La Plata. Make Aztec not be alive, and we get 800 ducats. Which normally would seem like a lot of money, but we make that like every month. Feels like every month. And continue the Reconquista. All provinces in North Morocco area are owned by us. We could situationally have another 15% morale of armies. <laughs> Seize Melilla from our subject. 
and then just have 15 more morale of armies so that we are like ridiculously stupidly strong even more morale how come my beer looks so horrible for reasons i think i might seize this from him now not while they're going to be disloyal though we need more prestige so we can placate Colony there, colonists there, there, and there. So I'm only running four colonies right now, which doesn't really feel like enough. I am going to finally finish off these two. And then we'll worry about creating, I think, Colonial La Plata. But like I said, for right now, there's like nothing for me to do except for just sit and wait for the course to complete. So, all right, I'm going to take a short break here. I'll be back in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the campaign. I'll see you soon.